A lovely morning to you. Many thanks for joining us in the very first edition this week of Super Dawn. I am Precious Amayo. It is May 6th, 2019. Um, the month again is running by, but we hope that here on Super Dawn we're helping you keep track of the issues that matter. And you're welcome once again, just like Precious rightly said. Uh, it's another edition, a brand new week. And we, as usual, we want to take you on this beautiful ride now till the end of the week, which is Saturday. Because I believe Sunday is the start of a new week. My name is Olami Dionwoka, and you welcome to today's edition of Super Don Precious. Um, how was your weekend, first of all? It was great. It was amazing. Um, how was my Sunday, you mean? But it was great. Yeah, <laughs> it was great. Yeah, yeah, how was your Sunday. weekend? I was like, how was my Sunday? Mm. Um, it, was, it, was, um, it was a Sunday. Once you're back from church, the day is basically gone. And they have to focus on you know, things that you have to do to prepare for the week. So, but it was fine. I think it was fun for me too. I did stuff that I you know, normally wouldn't do. Yes, you told me you uh, had you were going to be things. somewhere. Yes, yes. Uh, I told you. And we don't want to say what exactly. No, we don't. We don't. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you had a great time. Yeah, it was great. It was yeah, talking great, about awesome. great times. Um, we we're talking about issue of trust. Yeah. Trust, trust. this for morning. Um, whether it is end or whether it Some is. Some people will say it's overrated, but trust me, it is not. It's absolutely essential. When you have a relationship, and even in every aspect of your life, your interaction with man, you would come to realize that trust is. It's something that key. is so essential whether in business whether in relationship whether in whatever part of your life trust is a factor that is very very important it determines how people relate with you very very and the funny thing is we all want people that we can trust mm -hmm. but we we don't look to make ourselves trustworthy you know we're always saying oh I, I i don't trust you i don't trust you but are you also trustworthy are you trustworthy are you trustworthy because if you're not trustworthy then you know it's about reaping what you sow you can also reap trust what you have not sown. the trust. word is a very powerful word you know by being able to determine if you're actually trustworthy uh, and you know a lot of people have actually done so many things in the past that you ask yourself is this person really who i think this person mm -hmm. is and you know but it's just part of the way life goes life swings and the same way the pendulum yes, doesn't yeah. wait one it just keeps moving it swings, it swings and keeps and moving forth. and moving and moving okay well it's been a beautiful weekend and i'm pretty sure you had fun but right about now it's super done and it's a brand new week but we'll take a break now when we come back it'll be time for us to look at what's happening on the dailies this morning with the newspaper review segment here on super done on super screen television which are 45 and star times channel 173 stay with us the program continues after this break. Welcome back to Super Dawn. It's time for the newspaper review segment and we have three papers with us here in the studio. We have the Punch newspaper, we have the Daily Sun and we have the Daily Trust and those are the papers we'll be reviewing this morning. So I'll get it started with the Punch newspaper and the first story, the big one here says State of Public Versity Libraries Worrisome says ASO President. And um, there's a writer to it. And if you visit the Kenneth D.K. Library, you'll see the level of rot there. 
when there is power outage, they, that means the workers, will have to be running around to look for diesel to power the generator. That's if the generator is even working, and that's coming from the school chair. Okay, and you can see the picture of the plane in Russia that caught fire. Uh, they had to take an emergency landing, and, and officials confirmed that 13 people were killed in that one. And so um, that's the picture there in uh, Moscow airport with 13 people confirmed dead. And also we have this story on the punch and it says Ramadan, prices of tomato, pepper rise by 60% in Lagos. Details of that story is on page 57. We have this story and it says police arrest six for alleged sale of poisonous pomo in Lagos State. And details of that story is on page 5. UTME, five jailed for exam fraud, 123 others facing trial. Details on page 12. We have this other story that's just above the nameplate and it says how to end Godfatherism in Lagos. And that's coming from El Rufai. Details of that story is on page 56. And tribunal to issue notice to hear articles petition this week. Details on page 57. And uh, above that story, we have this one that says banks make 124 billion naira from e-transactions. Banks make 124 billion naira from e-transaction. Details on page 29. We have this story still on the front page of the, day, the punch. We, this one says presidency attacks media as Buhari returns from UK. Details on page 54. Ramadan Saraki. Dogara, Ekurema do seek prayers for security, economic boom. Details on page 20 of the Punch newspaper. And now to the back page, we have this one. Mikel seeks fresh challenge after Boro exit. Mikel seeks fresh challenge after Boro exit. And um, the opinion here from Henry Boyo says, Cobalt coins and failed monetary strategy. Cobble coins and field monetary strategy. And that's written by Henry Boyo. And that's it on the Punch newspaper being the sixth day of the month of May 2019. And away from the Punch newspaper, we move on now to the Daily Trust, where the major headline reads Patients decry high cost for services at teaching hospitals. Patients decry high cost for services at teaching hospitals. And there is an infographic here of some major challenges um, facing teaching hospitals. Um, there's, there's issue of um, obsolete equipment and malfunctioning machines, rising cost of services, uh, patients pay as high as 60,000 naira monthly for dialysis. Um, there is lack of steady power supply and high cost of diesel for generators, non-availability of some uh, test services within the hospital, uh, poor funding and revenue, uh, inadequate bed space, also, number of doctors for um, far below World Health Organization benchmark of one doctor to 250 patients. And then bad order overwhelms some sections of the hospital. And then um, the affected states are list listed here. Um, the UJUT in Sokoto, AKTH in Kano, JUT in Jos, UATH in Abuja, uh, UMTH in Meiduguri, FMC in Yola, uh, UUTH in Uyo. And these are the affected states you know, where uh, they have these challenges. If you are interested in that story, which I think is quite interesting to read, you'll find details of that story on page five of the Daily Trust. And now just below the nameplate, Buhari returns from 10-day visit to UK. Um, Buhari returns from 10-day visit to UK. Uh, you find details of that story on page three. CP relocate to Daura over Magazine Gary's abduction. Um, CP relocate to Daura over Magazine Gary's abduction. Uh, details of the story is on page three and now on the bottom strip here nigeria uninhabitable for young people nigeria uninhabitable for young uh, people and that's coming from the catholic bishop on Nayeko. you find details of that story on page seven nine days after jonathan saraki pay tribute to late yaradwa sorry nine years after jonathan saraki pay tribute to late yaradwa um details of that story is on, is on page seven NCC harmonizes data with NIMSI verifies SIMS. NCC harmonizes data with NIMSI verifies SIMS. Uh, details on page 17. 
And now on the back page of the Daily Trust is an opinion here by Azu Ishikwene. And it says, why, why Dr. Ingege can't treat that headache? Why Dr. Ingege can't treat that headache? It's a guest column. You can pick up the Daily Trust to read that. And now on Sports Report, high school Kohonen wins China, China Open in a playoff. High school Kohonen wins China Open in a playoff. And still on Sports Report, Nadal in confident mood ahead of Madrid Open. Nadal in confident mood ahead of Madrid Open. And finally, Arsenal top four hopes ever evaporate after Brighton draw. Arsenal top four hopes evaporate after Brighton draw. And that's all for um, the front and the back page of the Daily Trust. All right, let's go now to our last paper, which is the Daily Sun. And uh, we have this big one, and it says, Army, Amnesty Trade Tackles Over Insecurity. Army, Amnesty Trade Tackles Over Insecurity. Also, global body alleges brutality, forced conscription by military, Boko Haram. Military bans use of motorcycles in Kano, Zamfara, Kalsina, Sokoto, and others. Details of that story is on page four and five. Okay, we have this one that is just uh, beside the nameplate, and it says police arrest six with truckload of poisonous pomor in Lagos State. And the writer says impound preservation chemical. And details on page eight. You can see the picture of um, officials of Operation Safe Urban distributing food to children and women during the visit to the just north in Plateau State after the peaceful election were held in the community. And that picture was captured yesterday. Also, we have the story that says 24 days to inauguration, anxiety over nurse service commission, anxiety over nurse service commission. And the writer says, Buari yet to act five months after nomination of commission's member. Details on page six. Why I want to be Senate president. That's coming from Undumen. And it says, well, yet to decide who to support. And that's coming from PDP. Well, yet to decide who to support. Details of that story is on page 41. And it continues on page 42. Buhari returns from UK. Naysayers can swallow their words. That's coming from President e. Buhari returns from UK. And the writer says, Naysayers can swallow their words. Details on page 41. And also, Ramadan, Saraki, Kalu, others felicitate with Muslims. Details on page 9. And over to the back page of the Daily Sun, we have this one in sports. And it says, Mikael's calls. Quits Boro. Miguel scores. Quits Boro. Details on page 44. And uh, Anambra lawmakers and expensive funerals in Igbo land. That's written by Kasme Igbokwe. And details on page 31. And then the public forum, yeah, the opinion written by Ima Arubaleze says the Igbo car spirit will continue to guide Obiano. The Igbo car spirit will continue to guide Obiano. So lots of interesting stories here yeah, on the Daily Sun. If you're interested in any of these, just grab a copy and read through. And uh, with that, we've come to the end of the newspaper review segment. Precious, your favorite. Um, of course, I, I saw the story by uh, the Cardinal John on, on Aiko, mm. the Catholic Archbishop, where he said Nigeria uninhabitable for young people. And then if you read through that story, he listed the reasons why he feels that is uninhabitable for young persons and how young persons are migrating illegally out of the country just to look for greener pastures. Mm -hmm. And that he, you know, because he served in, in the Vatican for a while, he said on the streets of Europe, he was always, Italy rather, he was always ashamed to see young Nigerian girls who were prostituting, selling themselves. And, you know, um, that he, he, most of them were even illiterate who were brought from the village, trafficked from, from Nigeria. And um, I, for him, and I, which is the point that I support, is mm. not so much, you know, of um, industrialization. It's just creating an enabling environment for talents to thrive. Um, a lot of people are talented in this country. They just need that opportunity. They just need the enabling environment, whether we're in business, whether we're in basically. just the platform. Mm. And if that is done, um, it will also translate into issues of insecurity in the country where half of that would, would be gone. Yeah, I mean, when you have an enabling environment, um, 
We know that Nigerians are people with uh, skills, dynamic in nature, trust me, very dynamic, I have to say. And, uh, but then a lot of people will understand that uh, when you don't have an enabling environment, then there's a problem because you can't really explore your talents, you can't showcase. And even if you have a talent, trust me, this is, there's, some, there's some places that you want to explore your talent that it will be appreciated. Mm -hmm. And when you see people who believe that, yes, talent can be monetized and marketable, but I don't think we have that here in Nigeria. It's on a rare case that you see that happening. So we just hope that the government pay attention to the youths and so that they don't travel and, you know, start seeking greener pastures elsewhere. Mm -hmm. For me, I think the story that interests me has to do with the fact that the police have arrested six people with truckload of poisonous momo yes. in Lagos State. And we, you know, we took that story last week mm. when it first came, and uh, now uh, they've arrested six people. And uh, I saw the picture of the Yesterday. truck, and I was asking myself, is that really what people take as... Yes, it was, um, that truck and, was really loaded. And do you see... Um, yes, and then you saw how black yeah, the, the pomo was. So I, I, we, we, and I'm grateful for um, the, the quick action you know, by, by the Ministry of Health and then um, the, Nigeria the Nigeria Police. Because if that had, if Momo had got into the market, then imagine how many people would have, would have died, died by now. I mean, mm. that's have recorded a lot of casualties. It, it, we have to do more to ensure that food is safe you know, food safety. We always talk about food security in terms of, you know, not having enough food mm. to eat. But, you know, I mean, we also start looking at how healthy the food that we consume is. Somebody once said that any, once somebody mixes anything and puts it in a can, yeah. Nigerians will buy and drink, whether it's healthy or not. We need to ensure that what we're taking is healthy. And I'm happy that, you know, this, hap this is happening. But it will also lead to um, loss of revenue for some people. Some people are going to be very careful that you even buying for money. Um, so those who are, traders already have it in stock mm. might be losing money. I'll tell you what, I haven't had it since I read that story on the paper. I've not had it. So it's, it's just, uh, you know, they say safety first and you like, exactly. that's, you, you can understand. The, it, Pomo is not the only protein that goes with food. Now. It that's doesn't so many even protein. have any protein to it. And to think about the fact that it's just, um, you know, leather. Just leather. It has nothing to it. I don't, I, I don't oh. want to eat it. Interesting. Right, I'm not uh, trying to discourage anybody from <laughs> no, eating Pomo. No, but I don't even like it in the first safety thing. first. But, you know, if, if you can stay away from, from it for now. For now. Until, you know, there is word from uh, the authorities that it's safe. safe, then why not? All right, um, let's take a break now. When we return, we're looking at something quite interesting. Um, before the colonial era, we know that Nigeria was um, in, in different regions where that was governed by, um, mon they had a monarchical structure. We had a traditional order of governance. Um, but after the colonial era, we, we came to the political order of governance. But is the traditional order of governance still relevant today? Um, and what is their role in, in ensuring that there is development in the local government, in the state, and in the nation as a whole. We're looking at traditional leaders um, or traditional rulers and local governance. And that's our topic today when we return after this break. Do stay with us. <laughs> 